do with this thing? designing our bot, we went through many, many, many design iterations. But finally, we ended up with this thing, which is a pretty small front profile, with the center of mass being somewhere around right here. So naturally, we put our vertical motor right above the center of mass, and our forward and backwards motors here and here to the right and left of it, with some of these motor mounts that I printed being there to hold the motors. Now, these motor mounts ended up being such a hassle because first of all, they're about as hydrodynamic as a brick with a parachute. And second of all, they were a pain to print. But we got there and they worked. Yippee! What I ended up doing was printing it without top or bottom layers. This left only the infill, which had these big holes in it, which was perfect because it allowed the water to pass right through. And boom, this meant that we didn't have to deal with hydrodynamics at all. And from there, all that was left to do was to build it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about my bit? The thing I'm supposed to talk about. This ROV has to actually complete something, the challenge course. And, and grab things, and pick them up, and move them places. You know, we need something to do that. Here, here, let, let, let me talk about it. Enter... The Hook. We knew from the start that the hook was gonna go... Hold on. Give me that. I need this. I need this right now. We knew that the hook was gonna go here. Right there. Uh, but attaching it was a bit of a hassle, we couldn't think of it right on the spot, so we decided to just think about what the hook was going to look like in the first place. We all grabbed markers and pencils and just sketched random stuff down. What if it was forklift style? What if we made it flat? How about we just use a singular hook? One, one will just do the job. No. It was surprisingly difficult, and we couldn't really figure it out for a day or two, but what, we, just, it, we just kept asking ourselves, why was this so hard? Why was this our biggest struggle to date? Why? But our answer was right in front of us the whole time. It's, it, it's why. Oh my, it's why. It's, this is gonna go great, the hook's done. It's why, we're gonna do a Y shape. Oh my, you're doing a Y. We decided to use a Y style clamp with a bit of an angle at the end, as well as a snap fit clamp to go under the PVC and a screw in the front to hold it all into place. I ended up designing the hooks in on shape. Come on, here, let me, let me show you, let me show you. All right, so here, bam. We have Y style hook in the front. We have our clamp in the back and our pre-made hole for the screw. It was perfect. We, it, it seemed like it would work perfectly. Unfortunately, the clamp in the back fractures really easily. Over several weeks, uh, we came up with five different iterations. Here's version two, here's version three, here's version four, and here's version five, as well as a 5.1. So here's the final iteration, 5.1. We completely got rid of the ring in the back so we can avoid any fractures and we increased the diameter of the hole for the screw, which we would later change out to be a bolt and that we would just screw in from the back side through the PVC and then add a washer and a nut to keep it all secure. And that's all there was to it. Look at it go, look at it spin in a circle. Isn't it so cute? Now all that's left to do is just build the thing. All right, all right, I'm done here. You can run the time-lapse montage thing now, go for it, yeah. <laughs> This is A&W root beer, and not like the beer bottles. Oh, this is a little... <laughs> it's like a product placement. 